All right, guys, what's up? Alec back with another stock market investing video. Today, we have an exciting one as well. It's going to be Apple stock that we're talking about. Everybody wants to know what's going on with Apple stock. They just had their big event. And overall, the news seemed pretty solid as well. So the question is, why is stock Apple stock pushing down right now? And what is going on with it? Is it a buy? Should I go ahead and buy some? Should I load up on it? Should I sell my position out of it? What should I do right now? What's going on with Apple stock? So let's get into it. So if you look at the one day chart, you'll actually see pre-market, we were up about 1% and then it fell almost 3% down as soon as market opens. So right off the bat, it had to recover. It was red and then it had to go all the way up and at about 8 a.m. I'm over in California, by the way, Pacific time, you'll actually see that it did break green and then it actually just trended down here. So the last support was at 122. And then you see as soon as it breaks the 122 and goes to 121, that's bad because now it has a new support. So now the support broke again. So we can kind of see it probably going to go down a little bit more. But if you look at the one week chart, it isn't as bad as it looks. Because what's going on is it was just a couple days ago at 116 so don't forget guys you know it was just at 111 116 i think a lot of people were buying shares around there so what the stock market does sometimes it prices in news beforehand you know news already came out before the event that we were getting a 5g phone so that's why you see the big spike up here you know we saw what was that a 10 percent increase almost from these two dates what was that? About an 8% increase. You know, that was probably them pricing in 5G. And one thing we really want to dig into in this video is the market cap of Apple. So let's scroll down. You see the market cap is $2 trillion, guys. So if you look back about one year ago at Apple's market cap. So if you pull up Apple's market cap, which we have right here, you'll see Apple's market cap. It's $2 trillion market cap, which is so huge it's the biggest company in the world but what is really interesting if you go back only seven months ago to march it was only it was less than one trillion it was about one trillion so you got to ask yourself is is it justified that apple's valuation actually doubled in seven months from one trillion all the way to two trillion the answer is probably no so you have to then the next question is you know what is the true valuation of apple is it 1.6 trillion? Is it, you know, even if you go back two years ago, you see 700 billion. So not even 1 trillion two years ago. So you have to ask yourself, is, is, are they growing their revenues by that much? I mean, their revenue hasn't doubled in seven months, you know, from this date right here when it was 1 trillion and now it's 2 trillion. The revenue hasn't doubled. So what's, why is it doubling? Why is the valuation of this stock doubling? And why are we paying for a valuation that's doubled? So that's what I'm saying. You know, Usually I want the market cap to be a lot lower when I'm going to be investing. One big thing that if you look back to you know, when this whole thing shot up, because we were just at 1.6 trillion also, if you go back to like July or August, it was like 1.6 trillion, right? Which is not that long ago. And what was a huge catalyst of this running up was the stock split. Same thing with Tesla, right? So is it just because the, there was so much volume and so much hype in the stock? So you have to really look at what the market cap is. If it's doubling in the span of seven months, typically with a stock, it's going to be going down. Back to you know a correction is the right way to put it. This is one of the biggest stocks in the world, though, so nobody knows what it's going to do. It can rally up, just like how Tesla kept, keeps rallying up. Nobody knows what's going on. It seems like it's undefeatable and unstoppable. But I hope that puts a little bit more in perspective that you can actually look at market caps of companies. I mean, look, it didn't double from 2000, you know, May 2018 all the way to 2019, 2020. It barely even moved the market cap. And then all of a sudden it just doubles out of nowhere, you know, in seven months. That seems like a little bit fishy, guys. So here you'll actually see a lot of other reputable companies talking about is Apple stock overvalued, you know, Motley Fool, NASDAQ. Now, the question that this article brings up is that if uh, Apple is overvalued, what about Amazon and Microsoft and these other companies that have ran up and had huge growth? 
So what they go over is that Amazon is actually growing revenues by about 38% a year. So Amazon is forecasted to grow adjusted earnings per share by 38% this year, and Microsoft just completed its fiscal year with 21% year-over-year growth. By comparison, Apple is expected to grow 9% in this fiscal year 2020, which ends in September. And then it really goes into the question too, which you want to ask yourself as well. Valuation is in the eye of the beholder, which is true. And what that means to me is if you're a long-term holder, you know, sure, go ahead and buy Apple stock because in the five years, two years down the road, it's going to be worth more than it is today. But if you're looking to make a quick buck, you know, in a couple months or even a couple weeks, you know, you might want to stay away from Apple right now because I think you can see a better price. And then it goes on to say for investors who do traditional value metric, Apple probably does look scary. But then it goes on to say for investors who look at Apple as one of the most innovative companies of all time and the perspective could be different. So it's all about, you know, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Same thing with value. It's in the eye of the beholder. It's all about what you believe. That the And they have a massive loyal customer base, which is why Forbes magazine ranks Apple the world's most valuable brand year after year. With a track record of innovation and customer loyalty, I don't think Apple is overvalued. Historically, there's never been a bad time to buy Apple stock as long as you held those shares. And even at two point six six trillion dollars a company apple's largest growth days are behind it but i think it can continue to provide long-term investors with with market beating returns meaning it's not going to have crazy growth that you in the last 10 or 5 years that we've seen it going up a hundred percent fifty percent but what you can't expect from apple it's going to be the etfs you know it's still going to be good for 10 to 15 percent year every single year and as I'm ending the video, I do see some of the stocks looking like they're rebounding here. Apple's not following as dramatic as a pattern as some of the other big tech ones like Facebook, Google, Amazon, Tesla, and um, Intel actually are experiencing. You'll actually see a little bit of a pop here. But overall, I hope that di video did help you kind of put some stuff into perspective, get you thinking, are you more long term on Apple? Are you just looking for a quick buck on them? Um, you can see I'm down a little bit on the day here, but if we go to the week, I'm still up 6%, which is always good. You want to look at like week um, and three month quarterly growth as well. So guys, until next time, I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like on the video, comment below your thoughts. If you're going to be buying or holding Apple, if you're long term or short term on them, and let me know what you guys are thinking as well. And until next time, guys, remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.